Hi everyone, my name is Kale. Um, I'm going to be sharing today from Exodus 4, um, and I'll get to the verse actually in a little bit. I want to give some, some background first. So Exodus 3 and 4 is the story of Moses at the burning bush. Um, if you don't know that story, it's where God is revealing his plan to Moses for Moses to lead the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. Um, there's a lot of cool and challenging things in this passage um, uh, that the first time I recorded this message took me seven and a half minutes to talk about. So uh, I'm going to move away from the challenging aspects of it um, in Exodus 3 and just talk about the um, encouraging aspects in, in Exodus 4. So as God is telling his plan to Moses, Moses has a lot of doubts about all of it. Um, he says, you know, I'm not a good public speaker. Um, why would the Israelites listen to me? Why would Pharaoh listen to me? All things that are very reasonable and, and things that I'm sure uh, most of us would would think of too um, and and so he, he keeps coming up with these these doubts or reasons why this plan won't work and and God always has a response and um, eventually uh, in Exodus 4 11 and 12 um, it says the Lord said to him who gave human beings their mouths who makes them deaf or mute who gives them sight or makes them blind is it not I the Lord now go I will help you speak and I will teach you what to say so first of all, we're not obviously all called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Um, not even all of us are called to lead. Um, just, you know, <laughs> that's, that's not, that's only one type of skill set. but, um, we are all called to do something. Um, we all have different ways that we can share the gospel and share God's love, uh, with the world. So we are all called to do that. Um, whether that is leading, whether that is being the most, Jesus-like accountant you can be, or the most Jesus-like mother you can be, whatever that is, um, we all have some sort of calling, um, and we all also have doubts. Um, but whatever doubts we have, um, I promise you God has already thought of them. What's cool is right after um, God says this, and it's kind of yelling at Moses almost, he says, by the way, just so you know, your brother Aaron is already on his way to see you. He's a great speaker. He will help you. Um, and so, you know, not only does God say that he, I will teach you what to say, I will help you speak because I called you to do this. He also says, I'm going to send other people who have other skill sets to help you. So um, I just find that encouraging, especially um, during quarantine and also um, the things going on surrounding um, George Floyd and, and, and all of that, that um, I think we are all feeling sort of a, a stirring uh, within us. And um, so that's going to look different for, for all of us as far as uh, where we feel our hearts pulled, um, what what directions. But if God is calling you to do something, he will He will equip you even if you don't feel like it. And he will also send other people uh, to help you along the way. Um, and what could be more encouraging than, than that? So, um, yeah, read Exodus 3 and 4. Uh, it's a really cool story.